You have probably heard the CISSP being called the gold standard in cybersecurity certifications. It's one of the most prestigious credentials in our field, and it's definitely the most in-demand certification employers are asking for, but it also has a reputation for being brutally difficult. So how do you actually prepare for it, pass it, and walk away with those four letters at the end of your name? That's exactly what I'm here to help you with in this video. If you only want the quick summary, here's what you need to know. There's no way to sugarcoat it. The CISSP, that's the Certified Information Systems Security Professional from ISC2, is hard. It can be overwhelming, but it's doable if you tackle it in bite-sized chunks. I recommend having at least one other cybersecurity certification under your belt before pursuing the CISSP. And the more certifications you have, the easier the process of getting CISSP certified will be. Contrary to popular belief, you do not need to spend thousands of dollars on a CISSP bootcamp. Self-study not only works, but it's actually my preferred option and study materials are easy to attain and are very affordable. I recommend watching a complete video course from start to finish and reading an exam study guide from cover to cover. I also recommend completing at least 1300 practice questions and going over a few hundred flashcards. Do not stress about the clock during your exam. You're gonna have plenty of time to read each question multiple times and even have enough time to take micro breaks during your exam. You will not be given all the information that you may want during the questions. So be prepared to make assumptions as you read what is being asked. Pro tip, think like a CISO and not like a technician. This is a managerial certification, not a technical one. ISC2 actually does you the favor and spells out all the acronyms for you during the exam. So don't worry about memorizing every acronym. However, memorizing common and popular acronyms will help you out in the real world. Most importantly, stay consistent. Make a study schedule and stick to it. You're never gonna feel 100% ready for this exam. However, you have to leap eventually. So do not fear failure. If that high level summary was all you needed to know, feel free to click off this video now. But before you go, do me a small favor and like this video and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. Now, for the elites who are sticking around for the full breakdown, let me quickly introduce myself for those who are new to the channel. Hello, my name is Kaiser Clark. I have been a cybersecurity professional for over seven years now, and I currently work as a full-time penetration tester, also known as an ethical hacker. This stuff is in theory. This is what I do in the real world every single day, and I'm here to help you grow your hacking and cybersecurity knowledge. What makes the CISSP different? First, let's talk about what sets the CISSP apart. Unlike most certifications, the CISSP is not about memorizing terms or configuring devices. It's all about proving that you can think at a high level like a manager, not like a technician. The exam tests strategy, policy, and decision making, and not so much technical knowledge. That's why ISC2 requires five years of cybersecurity experience to officially hold the certification. If you don't have that yet, you can still take the exam and become an associate of ISC2, but it reinforces the fact that this is not a beginner level certification. Before pursuing the CISSP, I strongly recommend having at least one other cybersecurity certification on your resume, something like the Security Plus or the CYSA Plus from CompTIA. These not only build foundational knowledge, but they actually waive one year of experience of the five year experience requirement, which can make all the difference. The study roadmap. Now let's get practical. How do you study, you may ask? Well, here is the roadmap that I recommend. Start with a video course. ACI Learning CISSP course is almost 40 hours long and covers everything you need. CBT Nuggets is also a great choice. Both give you access to the same practice questions and flashcards, so you can't go wrong here. Read an exam guide cover to cover. My recommendation is the official CISSP study guide from ISC2 published by Cybex. I personally read the CISSP all-in-one exam guide in college and it's all too. And once again, you can't really go wrong here. Just make sure you get the latest edition of whatever you choose. Flashcards. Both a CBT Nuggets and a CI Learning subscription give you flashcards. They're great for reinforcement. Go through a few hundred of these at least once, but repetition is the key to success. The more you memorize, the more comfortable you'll be during the exam. Practice tests. This is where the real preparation happens. Complete at least 1300 practice questions before your exam. You should aim to consistently score 75% or higher on the official practice test. If you're under 70%, Keep studying until you cross that threshold. Both ACBT Nuggets and ACI Learning Subscription give you practice exams 
but you're going to need more. So consider picking up the official practice test book or find additional practice questions somewhere else. And just to be crystal clear, this video is not sponsored by ISC2 or anyone else. I'm making this video because I genuinely want to help you pass your CISSP certification because I know it's going to have a high impact on your cybersecurity career. And the study materials that I mentioned in this video have worked for me for not only the CISSP certification, but also other certifications. And I have high confidence that they will work for you too. But by no means are you locked into the materials that I mentioned in this video, so feel free to choose something else. The combination of a video course, an exam guide, practice tests, and flashcards is everything you need for CISSP success without having to pay thousands of dollars for a boot camp. Exam day strategy. Now let's talk about the day of the exam. First, don't panic about time. The adaptive format can kick you out once you've answered enough questions to determine a pass or a fail. I was kicked out at 149 questions with about 90 minutes still on the clock. I read every question and answer at least three to four times, sometimes even more, and even took breaks to stretch, clear my head, and rest my eyes. Time will not be your enemy. Second, be ready to make assumptions. CISSP questions often leave out details. For example, a question might mention a firewall, but might not tell you what type of firewall it is or where it's located in the network. Instead of overthinking, always assume the most likely or default configurations. It's also common to see multiple correct answers in a CISSP question, and it's your responsibility to choose the best answer. Third, think like a CISO. You're not being tested on how you would configure a device, but on how you would approach risk management, strategy, and business priorities. Take off your technical hat and put on a manager hat. And finally, don't spend a ton of time memorizing every single acronym. Most of the acronyms on the exam are already spelled out for you. Instead, spend a lot of time understanding what the technologies and the processes actually do. Consistency is everything. And despite what the certification haters are saying, you cannot cram for the CISSP exam. It covers eight domains and each domain is massive. If you stop studying for weeks at a time, you're gonna forget much of it. And that's why consistency is the primary key to success. I recommend two to three hour study sessions, three to five days a week. If you can do more, absolutely do more. That's fantastic. If you do less, you're probably gonna drag out your timeline and risk forgetting things. In my experience, breaks that exceed one week will absolutely kill your momentum. I actually failed the CCNA exam on my first try because I took multiple weeks away from my studies. However, when I pursued the CISSP certification, I didn't make that same mistake and I studied the certification relentlessly and ended up passing on my first try. So build a study plan that fits your life and stick to it no matter what. Also, be willing to sacrifice things that doesn't matter. Things like video games, Netflix, fantasy football, and nights out with the boys. That discipline is what separates the people who pass this certification from the people who don't. Final advice. Let's wrap this up with some wisdom that you're not going to find anywhere else. For starters, boot camps can be valuable, especially if your employer is paying for it or if you know that you learn best in a classroom setting. But let's be real, they're expensive and you don't need one to pass. You can absolutely pass the CISSP through self-study. The recipe is fairly simple. One video course, one exam guide, one practice test book, a lot of consistency and a lot of discipline and that's it. Now I see a lot of people on LinkedIn flexing with their stacks of five or six different CISSP books and the truth is you don't need that many bro. More is not better. In fact, it can actually slow you down. Stick with one study guide and one practice test book and if you fail, then consider adding some more resources. Otherwise, don't overcomplicate it. And speaking of failure, you cannot fear it. I may have passed the CISSP on my first try, but I have failed eight other certification exams. And I can confidently say that I have learned much more through failure than I have through first time wins. And here's a gold nugget for you. You're never going to feel 100% ready for this exam. You just have to take a leap of faith and just go for it. I remember the night before my exam, I woke up at three in the morning, sweating, worried I was going to fail because I didn't study enough. I was actually doing a practice test at four in the morning, just hours before the actual exam. And even through the actual exam, I got kicked out 
I had 149 questions and I had no idea if I passed or not because I didn't have a whole lot of confidence in many of my answers. And I didn't know if I passed until the proctor gave me the results. And even though I was super happy that I passed the CISSP, I actually drove away from the exam center with a massive headache from the amount of thinking that I had to do. And that is the CISSP for you. The questions are vague, the scenarios are complex, and you're going to second guess yourself the entire time. That's normal. Walk in knowing that you're not going to be certain and do it anyways. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn about other cybersecurity certifications, then you have to check out this playlist right here where I review and tell you how to pass select certifications. And I'm added to this playlist every single month, so stay tuned. Click watch now and I'll see you there.